Hello, we are with Carlos Salvador, Commercial Director of CELTA. Can you introduce yourself, Carlos? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm Carlos Salvador, uh, Commercial Director of CELTA Vigo, also the Chief of uh, International Expansion. So it's uh, a pleasure to talk with you about CELTA and our plans in the uh, MENA region. Great, Carlos. The first question, what are CELTA Vigo's upcoming promotion plans in Egypt and the Arabian region? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, very soon we are uh, open a, a couple of uh, uh, football uh, activities. Uh, one of them is a draft that uh, we are doing uh, with uh, some partners, uh, local partners in, in Egypt. Uh, one of them uh, very relationed with uh, Mido, for sure you know Mido. It's one of uh, our uh, legend uh, players, so uh, we are very happy to, 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 to work with him. And uh, also we are uh, making a, a couple of uh, raffle and, and contest uh, with La Liga and with media uh, to have the, the, the chance for, for our fans here in Egypt uh, to win a t-shirt, tickets and a lot of surprises that you could see. All the uh, promotional plan that uh, we have in strategic markets at uh, Ismena region, it's related to uh, build a, a big brand. Uh, we work on the awareness of, of, of our brand, our Celta brand, a, a thing that is a, a, a strong and, and value brand and different than, than all that we have. Also, uh, in a second level, uh, we work with a lot of uh, activation uh, relation uh, uh, to uh, uh, increase the, the number of funds and also our uh, database. And in a third, uh, a third level is that uh, to make money, to make uh, business with, with all of these uh, activities. So uh, these are the, 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 the main plans that we have. Okay, Carlos. Uh, project GS360 is expected to be a game changer in Galicia and specific, specifically in Vigo. Could you walk us through the details of this innovation plan? Yeah, sure. GS360, uh, it means Galicia Export uh, 360. Uh, really, it's, uh, it, it, it means that the, the, the name explained is Galicia, as our region is, is Galicia Sport because it's our core business, uh, 360 because it's all around the sports. So it means that it's not only a sports city, eh? really it's an innovation hub also, and um, I don't know how to say, a, a, a business uh, uh, area uh, where inside we are going to have our sports city. So uh, that's the, the main reason about the name, Galicia Sport 360. Uh, it's uh, uh, an, uh, uh, an innovation we have and a uh, sport area for uh, uh, all the uh, Galicia people, but also for all the uh, sports uh, uh, lovers. We are working in uh, five different levels. Uh, one for sure is, is a sport, it's to, to, to develop all, all, the, uh, uh, all the skills related to a sport, not only football, also uh, the, the, the main sport that, that we have. We, we, we have been working the last two or three years uh, to build a partnership with other uh, federations, uh, so as basketball, hockey or another uh, uh, local sports. So we are uh, very happy with these with this, uh, agreements and, 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 and also as we are an elite club, you know, a first level club, uh, we think and we are sure that uh, we can share a lot of knowledge uh, with all these this, this federations or, or, or teams. So, in another level, we also have the, uh, all the uh, healthy area. Uh, we are going to build a, a special uh, high performance uh, uh, center where, uh, in the same uh, line as we have been talking, uh, we are going to share all our uh, knowledge and, pra and best practice with other, uh, with other uh, teams or, or federations. Also, we are going to open a university because I think it's very important the, the education, not only for, the, uh, for our uh, players or our staff, it's also for, for everybody who wants to be a, a sport specialist. And uh, in, in another hand, uh, we are going to have to uh, 
uh, an arena uh, where we are going to build a, an ambitious uh, entertainment and business program just to have all the uh, um, all the program all the activities that we need to to make all the thing that is happened here uh, bigger you know and also and finally uh, we are going to need a, a hotel uh, that we are going to uh, make not only the hotel also our residents uh, just for uh, our team, but also for all the students and uh, the people uh, who are going to go to this uh, congress or events that we are going to do. So really, uh, we are talking about a, a, a big, a huge uh, project that today is a reality because we have the first team and also the second team already uh, uh, working on, on that uh, facility, that is a Fauteza. And in the next three, five years, it's going to be this, this, this main project. Uh, uh, we hope you can see more information in the gs360.com, so you can see all the details. Okay, great, Carlos. Uh, well, next question. Abanca Balaidos is a famous stadium of Spain with more than 30,000 spectators capacity, hosted some matches during World Cup 1982 and it's always a tough field to visit. Barcelona, for example, couldn't, couldn't win there for six years from 2013 to 2019. What does it represent for Celta Vigo's fans and in the culture of Vigo's residents as well? Yeah, and not only in, the la, in the, that period that you have told, last, last season, last match, we have won uh, Barcelona to, to save category for, for us with uh, two goals of uh, uh, Gabriel Vega, so it's uh, an amazing uh, stadium. Yeah, uh, for sure, probably in, in the last years, all, all the teams or in all the cities, uh, the big stadium uh, has gone out of the center of the city, has gone out of the uh, midtown. Uh, so um, probably has lost uh, a little bit of, of that personality that all the uh, old uh, stadium or, or vintage uh, stadium has. No? Uh, so uh, is that one of the uh, uh, main points that uh, Abanca Balaidos has already? Um, it's a, a center stadium, it's in the center of the, of the city, so people can go to the stadium uh, walking uh, by, by, by themselves, uh, all the families spend the time in, in, in the bars or taking a beer uh, around the, the stadium and uh, go inside uh, just in the, in, the, in the last minute. So uh, also, uh, you know, as an uh, old stadium uh, uh, is uh, very open, it has a very noisy uh, activity and you know we have a great uh, a pitch uh, with a very good grass so that's uh, a, a romantic vision is, is is the point that we have in the in our stadium for sure great carlos and the same stadium uh, witnessed the famous night when celta coasted real, Soci real sociedad and the title and steered its way to real madrid in 2003 how do you remember this match? Well, uh, that's a, a very good match for sure, uh, you know, but probably not, not the best one, not the best one. Um, I can remember, and not only me, for sure, all the Celta fans, uh, but not only in Vigo, uh, probably we are talking about all the fans, uh, all the Celta Vigo fans around the world, can remember better uh, the, the matches against Juventus or against uh, Milan or Liverpool. No, uh, you know we have to to remember that uh, uh, Celta uh, has been playing the, uh, the Champions League or Europa League, and uh, I can remember, for example, a four zero uh, Celta Juventus. So uh, that's in one hand. Uh, one of the, the best uh, uh, remember that we will have, but also, uh, you know, in the other hand, we have when the team has uh, fighting to 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 don't go to to second division, you know. So, in that point, when when you are playing a game that the one point is the difference between to be on first division or second division, 
that's crazy, crazy matches. I remember one, uh, it's Celta uh, uh, Granada, that has been uh, also amazing. So, uh, yeah, uh, we are a 100 years club, so <laughs> a lot of, a lot of, a lot of remembers here. Next question, Carlos. In 100 years of Celta history, what is the best memory of the club, for the club? You know, it's a, a lot of years, uh, <laughs> 100, 100 years. Yeah, as we have been talking a few minutes ago, probably the, the big uh, European nights are, are, are special. You know, where you are playing a Champions League, when you listen to the, the, the champions uh, in, the, in the stadium, uh, you see the the teams, uh, the, the special environment that that, that party have, probably that's that's the, the the special moment for sure. You know, in a hundred years, uh, probably the uh, also the derbies, the the, the Onoso derby, as as we call the Celta against uh, Deportivo de la Coruña, uh, are very special. You know, as a local derby, is an, a, a very passionate. Uh, uh, matches so you know maybe maybe two uh, when when Jago Aspas uh, 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 debuted on, on first division on his first match I, I, I could remember that that uh, in that match uh, Celta was fighting to to don't go to second division and uh, Jago Aspas but was sitting on the bench and the, the coach uh, called him just uh, as first minute, first division, Jago, uh, we don't have anything to, to lose, we are going to go to second division, just please play. So and he, he starts playing and he scores two goals and finally the team uh, maintains the, the, the category. So also was a, a, a crazy, a crazy match, but you know, probably I think the, the European matches are are, are special, yeah. Great, Carlos. Uh, next question. Overall, how does the club work on increasing the revenues? Oh, good question. Good question. Yeah, uh, in a first level, probably as uh, another clubs in, in La Liga, and especially the, the Cantera clubs. Eh? The Cantera clubs, with Cantera I mean the academy of players that we made in our uh, factory, you know, the football factory. So uh, the first income that we have, the first level of, of income that we have is uh, television rights and uh, the, 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 market, the market players. Eh? Uh, selling our uh, young players is, 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 a, is a huge uh, business. It's the same as the television rights. Uh, talking about uh, the income, so talking about business uh, in a first level, uh, we have another uh, different way to to, to capture the the, the money. Uh, in a first level, we have the, the sponsorship or the partnership programs that we talk about that uh, that uh, kind of, of agreement is the, the, the sponsorship, the partnership, or that kind of, of, of bring money to, to, to the club also including the, the merchandising and licensing. And in another level, we have the uh, football programs. Uh, in this, in this uh, category, uh, uh, we could find the, uh, the activities as the, uh, the friendlies, uh, clinic, uh, campus, all the academies. That also is a, is a business model, as we have told before, it's not only just to to, to, to work on the awareness of the brand or to build a, a big brand or a global brand or, or uh, to increase the, the funds is also to, to monetize. So this is one of the, of the ways, the football programs. Also the stages uh, is not only uh, with the academy to go to the market, as uh, so we have uh, more than 20 academies uh, around the world, and also, uh, 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 we bring the talent here and the young talent here, and we invite them to uh, spend time with us in, in Vigo, and it's uh, the opportunity to uh, make it uh, faster, uh, this uh, um, talent developer. Uh, uh, so, 
it's also a, another uh, way to uh, to increase the, the 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 revenues. And finally, we have you know other other operations. And in this level, we have the hospitality, ticketing, and other uh, activities that uh, we made to to earn money. Uh, we had to to pay all the all the players, right? So that's it. Perfect, Carlos. And are there any plans to transfer Egyptian players to Celta Vigo? Any names on the radar? <laughs> um, I don't know where is the next uh, Sala, I don't know uh, where is the next Mido. Uh, hopefully, I, I know it. Probably Mido can uh, ask where this, this question better than me. I know that uh, in Egypt, uh, um, Federation and also the teams are working very hard, uh, you know, with with all the the young talent, uh, with all the, the the academies. But uh, you know, I don't know now. Uh, really, we we'll, are living in a globally uh, globally market, and for sure, uh, La Liga or Premier League are the best. A football competition uh, in the world, so it's not easy. It's not easy to to access the year, but you know all the clubs has the contact and all to to have ace on that market. And if there is any player that really uh, could be a, a a great player, a top player, uh, why not? Perfect, Carlos. And the last question. What does Celta Vigo currently need to qualify to European competitions? Oh, good question. Uh, win matches, not more. <laughs> so at the moment that we are able, or we have the capacity to to start to win more, 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 more and more matches. We have done it in the past, so we now have to do it. So that is uh, it's true that this season is, is not being uh, so easy for us. Uh, we have started the, the local competition, La Liga, oof, uh, with difficult matches. Uh, you know, difficult, difficult to understand why we don't have won that matches in in in, 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 in some cases. But you know, we still have time. Uh, we have a, a great coach, Rafa Benitez. Uh, the club has made a great effort to have uh, in this centenary year and this special season to have a, a very special and and, and a strong uh, team on, on, on the pitch. Also we have Jago Aspas, one of the best version of Jago Aspas and all the young players, not only for our academy, also for uh, European uh, teams. Uh, Jürgen, uh, uh, William, or uh, our uh, players, uh, Ivan, uh, Kevin, uh, Hugo. You know, we have sell uh, Gabriel Vega to Arabia, Arabia's League, and we have the new Vegas coming. So uh, that's it. We have all just to to to, to start to win the matches. Uh, hope to see you in 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 Europe in the future. Yeah. Great, thank you very much, Carlos. Ah, thank you, you. It's a pleasure.